Hey you guys, so I'm back at it again. Okay, let me turn this down because I know that's kind of loud. <laughs> so I'm back at it again of the what collective message. Is it a collective message? Well, I guess it's it's a collective message of the day. I need to just say that because it definitely is. And I have notes for the first time ever. I'm so proud of myself because I keep saying that I want to build a new system with myself. And this is the energy that we're going in. It's actually doing what you say, standing on what you say, practicing what you preach. I promise you, this is the energy that we're coming into. And it's this energy of understanding that it's like deep diving into the truth your truth though deep diving into the truth but your truth how do you actually feel about this not what everybody else says this is this is and you just add on to what everybody else says but you actually figuring out what is this for you <laughs> what is your truth for you what does it mean to you getting to understand that from a feeling of you actually creating that feeling and creating that own belief and creating that own mindset behind that belief. So if somebody comes, it's like this is this is this is what I'm feeling like your shadow is for. Shadow is for the negativity of what other people will say to your stuff because it's fearful because of what other people have done for it so your shadow was created from other people's fears from other negative energies around you trying to become you so when you hear this doubtful energy in the back of your mind it's because your belief system on something is not set in stone enough for your higher self and not even your higher self but these other functionings of you to actually feel what you're saying and understand what you're saying for your manifestation to come through so a part of you like your words is feeling it, but your heart isn't feeling it so your throat chakra opened up you're using that chakra but you're not using it in an intentional no way for every part of your system to feel it that's why a lot of y'all manifestations come for love but it's not the love you're seeking because you're not understanding the love that you're seeking <laughs> you're not understanding how you're creating your reality in that moment okay let's see let's see let's see because I had a home. It's this cap. I did not know tonight was a full moon. And my job, I always do it Monday and Wednesday. And I was like, I don't know if I want to do it on Wednesday because it's just, it's just a lot going on at this present moment. And it's really because I'm selfish <laughs> with my time and my energy. And it's like this new system of me really just really wanting to date myself and be one with myself. And <laughs> I've kind of been not wanting to come on here, not because I'm triggered by something, but literally because. I just like spending time with myself. So like the true essence of what solitude gets you and the true essence of what love gets you, you love to just spend time doing you. But then you realize, you know, you need to actually get out into the world a little bit more and get back into the world so you can create new memories for yourself so you won't be so still and stagnant because your comfort zone is your solitude with yourself. So yeah, that's what I've been going through. So the times when I don't want to do it, uh, like Queen <laughs> Queen Cup was talking about, like the times when I don't want to do it, that's because my shadow just wants to be with me. Like, girl, it wants to take up my time. It wants to take up my energy. I don't want to do all that. <laughs> and, and if I live a life where my shadow is leading, it will not be a happy one. That's one of the reasons why you try to control it now. Because if I live like you want me to live, I will be chaotic. I would die or I would kill somebody and end up in a place I do not want to be. I just end up in energies I don't want to be in. <laughs> I'm doing stuff just because. So if I do too much of something, that could be my shadow. That cannot be my shadow. It, it doesn't, it, that's why I'm still trying to define shadow because I feel like we put too much. And, and you see how everything has intention. This is the energy that we're going into. It's the energy of actually understanding the feeling behind the intention, which is behind the belief, which is behind the expectations. It's the expectations, then belief, then the intention behind it. And then the intention, the feeling behind the intention. It's your heart in your head coming together to be one so it's like your heart is having these feelings but your head could never understand it so your heart will tell your head if it's true or not because now you're just asking questions you're just trying to brainstorm what's going on and the first thing you latched on to was on what other people thought that belief was now you have to notice your body this is where the stillness comes in this is where noticing your body comes in this is where understanding yourself comes in because now you have to understand the process of your body like okay this tingle is this a good tingle or is this a bad tingle okay so my heart says this 
Lord no, my mind, my mouth is saying this, but my heart doesn't actually feel like that is the definition that I'm supposed to put right there. It's understanding. It's like the heart and the head is coming into union with each other. Just like this masculine and feminine. And it's all these partnerships and these union energies because it's union with you. If you understand what I'm talking about, because it's it's this energy of your masculine and your feminine, your shadow and your higher self. Well, I can't use, really use the shadow and higher self example because I'm still learning my shadow, but I can say masculine and feminine. But it's this masculine and feminine energy. It's like you have a masculine energy. You can even use me as an example. I'm an Aries Taurus, so I truly believe I have two people inside of me, like a Gemini. That's why I like I'd be like I really am a Gemini too. But I'm an Aries tourist. So this Aries part this Aries part of me, I, I for the last years I've been trying to learn the difference between the Aries part of me and this Taurus part of me. And now that I learn the difference between this Aries part of me and now that I learn the difference between this Taurus part of me, I have to learn how to make them one so they can be the cusp of power, so they can be powerful together. Because now you know how to function in one of yourself. You know how to function in this feminine. No, for me personally, I knew how to function in my Aries side of myself. I knew how to function in this masculine side of myself. I knew how to do a lot, but I didn't know how to be a feminine. I didn't know how to stay still. I didn't know how to listen. I didn't know how to listen and then watch. I didn't know how to listen, watch, and then execute. I didn't know how to listen, watch, execute, and understand. I didn't know how to set up the system of being a feminine. And a feminine to me is just listening. Because once you listen, and you have to really, under, and this is this is where the intention, it all comes back to center, to feeling, to intention, to belief, and to to it to expectation because when i say listening a lot of people are, are thinking with their ears <laughs> when i say listening listening my listening is tied to my seeing because i'm listening i'm actually sitting there and focusing so when i say listen it's sitting it's it's, it's sitting there and focusing on something but not literally sitting there and focusing on something that's what i'm saying it is it's this energy of diving into your truth to get a better handle on if your expectation matches your belief system which matches your intent which matches the feeling behind the belief the intent in and the expectation itself. <laughs> uh, how can I see it? Because it, it's a lot going on within the collective. But it's, it's a very exciting time. It's a very exciting time to be in this collective. It's a very exciting time of this year. If you've been doing the work, which you are doing the work because you're here. You're here. Understand if you're here. You're doing the work. You're a powerful being. You're just where I'm at. Either if you're not resonating with this, it's because you haven't acknowledged some part of yourself and you left some part of yourself behind on the journey. So you need to watch my previous videos and see what part of yourself you left and come back and listen to this. Because after you hear something from my previous videos and then come back and listen to this, I promise you, you'll be like, oh, I understand. It's this acknowledgement factor, accepting factor of your journey where you need to accept everything you've been through and actually accept how you you have created everything in your life. <laughs> you have everything in your life is a past manifestation. You have to understand that. Even the moment that you're sitting in saying, how is this a past manifestation? How is this a past manifestation? This is not what I want. You're focusing what you don't want, right? So this is what you want because your focus is on what you don't want. So now you're manifesting that. And that is exactly how you're manifesting the situation that you're in now because you're sitting up here still thinking about what hasn't happened and not valuing what has happened and i'm not talking about materialistic and that's that's another thing within the collective consciousness we're thinking about stuff materialistically we're thinking about stuff physically we're, we're tying our work into stuff physically and this is the affirmation that spirit is putting on my mind not all work is physical not all work is physical not all work is physical. Not all work is physical because it's not. <laughs> you have these four systems within inside of yourself. You have the emotions. You have this physical system. You have this mental system. And you have this spiritual system. And right now, your mental system is going to be together and build a structure so you can build upon it with your emotional side. Then you can build upon it within your spiritual side, which will then build upon it in a physical sense. In the physical sense being your reality or the physical sense sense being your body or the physical sense being money or the physical sense being something that's important to you that is movement in your 
belief of movement. <laughs> you have to understand this because a lot of us are tying stuff. We were saying a belief that's tied to a collective consciousness that you're no longer part of. Because once you become free, you have to become free and even establishing your own vocabulary or having the vocabulary that was sent to you, but still putting it in a way that it matches your belief system and it matches your faith. And a lot of us are not doing that. And that's all that spirit is asking you for. It's no it's no physical work needing to be done. It's mental, emotional, and then spiritual. And then the physical will follow what the emotional, mental, and spiritual aspect of yourself has already said. Because you know, now that you fully accept this, okay, this is what I was talking about. Now you can move in it. And that's how you move in it. Because now that you know what you're talking about, I can do it. Because I know what I'm talking about. I, I've, I've been through this. I've done this. I've seen the the route of me not doing this now i need to go the route of me doing this <laughs> so it's that blind faith turning into faith you know how i said i don't know if you watch my tiktoks but i was just like okay i understand faith without sight <laughs> sight without faith faith without sight but i understand faith without sight but then when is the sight gonna come so i can have more faith this is the faith coming in this is this is this is the belief system this is this is what you've always wanted coming in, but it's coming in a small form. And once you realize the small form, he can do more of the big forms. He can do greater than what you expect. But first, it's like this this year, 2023, is explaining the process of what it takes to be abundant. He's trying to show you the process of what it takes to be abundant. And it's us line, lightening up the perspective we have in this collective. I once told somebody, I said, what is good here for? No, why, why do we have this energy of bad? What is bad? What is negativity? Like, do we really need negative energy? Do we really need bad energy? And they was like, okay, so the bad is to appreciate the good. But if you're good, you know what appreciation is. If you're good, you know what grateful is. If you're good, you already know what that is. So I ask you again, what is bad for? What is there for? That's, that's why it's like, this this is what I'm going to create soon. Soon I'm going to create. Do I want to say it? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I do want to say it. Because um, what I'm going to create is an affirmational definition. And this is something that a lot of you need. Because a lot of you need examples. And a lot of the times we as people need examples of what I'm talking about. And it's an affirmational definition of intentions that we have. Because of a lot of our intentions. This is root work that I'm talking about right now. This is all root work. Getting to the root of everything. Because a lot of the times we have intentions. But we're not noticing the feelings behind certain intentions. Like definitely in the black community with money. Like if I was to say I'm a billionaire. Then somebody in my family would say like what about Hollywood? What about all the celebrities that's in the Illuminati. Well, it's like this money aspect because of the people who raised you. This money aspect is tied to this Illuminati aspect because their belief system is this is this is also how people come into energetic dominance over you because their belief system is built off of facts that they have seen because they went looking for what they feel like is. How can I say? Because they went looking for what they feel like is their belief because of belief of what they got from somebody else. Not because they actually searched for it, but be actually, actually because of what somebody else told them what this was. And they went looking for it and then they found it and it became true. But it's only one aspect because that's their belief. But they got their belief from somebody else. So now they have to build their own belief. So it's like there is this one side of a of a negative belief. This this one, And it's not even negative because that's just people's truths. And that's, that's what people got to understand that's not negativity just because it's somebody else's truth that just means that's just not your truth <laughs> that just means that's not your truth <laughs> and so now it, it's understanding that aspect okay i channeled a lot and i kind of got off course so let me <laughs> let me get back on course and i hope you can see the intensity do you see how i'm like even teaching this how i had to like really sit down so you can see my energy because so you can see my body so you can see the body movements because i'm a very animated person this is the airy side of me coming out and a lot of times when i teach i teach in a very masculine energy because i feel like masculine energy is what teaches because i'm just telling you the truth the truth whether light or dark i'm telling you the truth <laughs> that's it that's it you can't sugarcoat the truth and a lot of people like a feminine will try to sugarcoat the truth 
I'm not shaking up shit for you. <laughs> you a grown ass adult. You over here, you a grown ass adult. You know what you need. You know what you got to do. You know what's going on. So I'm going to talk to you as if I talk to myself. And if it's too harsh, it's too rude, it's not for you. And that's that's this energy that we're coming in to 2023 with. It's this energy of I'm practicing what I'm preaching. And if you don't believe in it, either get out my way or you're going to keep hearing me say it because I'm going to keep saying it and I'm going to keep doing what I want and I'm going to keep pissing you off. And I'm okay with that because <laughs> I'm going to keep getting what I want. <laughs> but yes. Oh, y'all see Luna? Y'all see my y'all see my plant? Y'all see Luna? I feel like Luna tired of me because I've been stepping on Luna lately. And I just know if Luna was a human, she'd be like, bitch, step on me one more time. Step on me one more time. See what's going to happen. See what's gonna happen. <laughs> I just know. Uh, so Maria the Scientist on, and Maria the Maria the Scientist brain is coming on. Feelings of mine, fragment of my imagination. Wonder if I seemed insecure. You were making music for your teenage tour and you. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I had to say that, but I feel it's significant in some way. But I just don't feel like channeling why it's significant. But it's significant. <laughs> but honestly, y'all, it, it's this very much energy of you having to really come to terms with if you're going to be in power, then power takes you educating yourself. Power takes you being the doctor and the patient. Power takes you being the student in the teacher power teaches you the duality power teaches you the polarities power teaches you that you have always been in control you just now learning how control works you're just learning how your systems and your functions works so i see why people are saying it's like a story because it is a story but the problem is when you get caught up in the same story you have to keep doing the same story to uh, adapt to these skills for the next part of your journey the next part of this story because on this next journey you need to know what happened here while also learning like like you need to know what happened here and also taking what you learned from here onto the next journey to figure out what the next journey was about to figure out what the next chapter was about to figure out how did you get here to this, this gratitude because i've been i don't know if you've been following for a long time but for the past two months three months i've been telling god like why should i be grateful for the bare minimum and a lot of people i even feel that energy as i say that a lot of people in the collective when i say that it's offensive because it's like no you should be you should be grateful for having a car you should be grateful for being alive you should be grateful for um having a bed you should be grateful for having it's, it's like the bare minimum stuff it's like people want you to be grateful for the bare minimum that's not me that's <laughs> not me like this is the bare minimum this is the bare and, and, and it's this understanding of what's the bare minimum what's luxury and what's something that you know like this 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 that that the bare minimum basically what's your bare minimum because what I was living at was below my bare minimum, actually. It wasn't even my bare minimum. Because my bare minimum is luxury. I'm talking about luxury. I'm talking about, like, 2,000 square feet type luxury. No matter how much it's paid for. No matter how much it costs. I'm talking about luxury, okay? <laughs> Taking flights when I want to luxury. That's the bare minimum to me. And a lot of us live below our bare minimum. But we have people in this spiritual community, toxic positivity, where they talk about some, the bare minimum is like where the bare minimum is okay. The bare minimum is something you have to be grateful for. The bare minimum, no, you need to be grateful for what you desire. So once you understand what you desire, then you need to appreciate it. Because if you're being grateful for having the bare minimum, then the bare minimum will keep coming because you keep living in this illusion that everything is okay when it's not okay. This is not okay. So the only way that you can get something that is okay when you question what is not okay with you, what is not rocking with you. For the last few months, I've been asking God, what, what, who are you? Why should I be grateful to you? Why should I talk to you? Why should I talk to my ancestors? If I'm this powerful person, why do I need you in my life? You know, it, it, it's really like, why do I need you in my life? Like, you're going to have to prove to me. A lot of people be like, you can't make God prove to you. No, you're going to have to prove to me who you are. <laughs> and he proved to me who I was, you know. It's just, you're going to have to prove to me who who you are because I don't trust you. And a relationship is built with trust, but trust comes over time when you have communication and when you ask 
questions. God loves it when you ask questions because questions is not doubting him. Questions is evaluating the a relationship or evaluating the problem that you have at this time. Evaluating the solution. Evaluating how you got to the solution. That's what a relationship is based off of. A relationship is based off of questioning because it's based off of getting to know each other. It's based off of evolving and the only way you can evolve is when you sit down, you listen, and you understand. And understand is coming from focusing. And I'm saying this because if you understand the intentions you have behind, behind some of the stuff that you're saying, then you understand why your life is being the way that it is. Because a, a lot of us don't live intentionally. We say we live intentionally, but we don't know what intention entails. <laughs> and that is what the divine is showing us, what intention entails. Y'all, this energy is so like, and I'll be saying this energy is so intense. The energy is not intense. I'm just an intense person. <laughs> I'm starting to see what everybody else has always seen about me. Cause I just was like, what are y'all talking about? And it's like my masculine energy was mad at me because I wasn't honoring the fact that I'm such a powerful person that when I speak, I speak with intention. I speak with love. I speak with so much importance and authority over me. I speak with so much fierce because I want you to feel my love. <laughs> and if you can't handle it, you need to get out the kitchen. Okay. You need to get out the kitchen because this is not the right kitchen. This is not the right food being prepped for you, for being made for you. You need to leave. And this is what the divine is trying to show you because it's like y'all have these certain belief systems and expectations, but your expectation and your belief is two different things. Your, your expectation is high, but your belief is so low. And your belief is rooted in your trauma. Your belief is rooted in who raised you. Your belief is rooted in whoever told you this. Like, who taught you about money? Go back to that. Who taught you about sex? Go back to that. Who taught you about what love was? And if nobody has taught you, then you're teaching yourself. And you have to understand, does this go right with the belief of love so when i'm spending money i can even say for today <laughs> because today i'm making my ancestors food you know i'm making a garlic sandwich garlic something sandwich i don't know what it's called i don't know what to call it but i was just making a sandwich for my um ancestors and I was sitting there and I was just like, mm, I don't know if I want to make them a sandwich because, you know, this is my food. I don't, why, why I got to share my food with them? And then I had to catch myself because I'm just like, wait, I keep saying that I want this relationship with my ancestors. I keep saying I want this help from them. I keep saying I want this community with them. Then that means if I know that I'm powerful enough to share a piece of me with my, with my ancestors, then they're powerful enough to share a piece of them with me. Because I know when I break you off of this, this is not going to help hinder me this is going to help me and i'm always going to have more after this because when i give you something you give me something in exchange and it's this energy of actually understanding what you're going through let me see. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> but let's see okay let's see please but yeah it's definitely definitely understanding what you're going through at this time because we're going through a lot 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 but it's so exciting to me in the way because this collective always seems like it's so hard it's so hard going through this it's so hard healing no it's not supposed to be hard it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be happy that you're actually getting to experience yourself you're getting to experience life you're getting to explore different parts of yourself this is what's making it fun this is what makes it so exciting and thrilling within life because you get to explore yourself and you get to explore who you are and who you have always been <sighs> It's just, y'all need to go deeper. That's what it is. The thing, let me see what I said. In my, <laughs> my trusty, dusty, um, my trusty, dusty, trusty, dusty, musty, rusty. Oh, thank you. Mm, mm. Oh, sorry, y'all. That was my mom. Um, boom, boom. Get back to the, um, um, I know, I know I had a thing. 
Y'all, I'm so unorganized. You can even tell. Like, if you cannot tell, you should tell. I'm so unorganized. That's the Aries part of me. Because I say my Aries is chaotic, but I want to change that. Or not change the chaotic, because I'm very chaotic, but I want to put a positive spin to chaos. And then that's the thing. It's like lightening up on the things that you used to call negative. Because the things that you think is negative is really not negative. It's not negative. Y'all need to define what negativity is for y'all. Because I promise you, once you define what negativity is to y'all, you will actually see a lot of the stuff in this collective consciousness of what they think is negative and what you see is negative is two different things two different things but it's okay because everybody has their truth so that doesn't mean they're wrong that doesn't mean that they're negative that just means that's their truth and that's your truth and if you start looking at it from a sense of truth and not positive and negative life will be so easier for you um what you want yourself you have to accept at least adopt you to take understand if you have a <laughs> what is going on uh understand what's good for you what aspect fam i just wrote this <laughs> like y'all y'all would never know this okay the next the next journey is going deeper into the truth that <laughs> that's the theme for 2023 going deeper into your truth i think i already said that I did all of that just to be that. I don't know. You know, Queen Cup, she be talking about like meek people. But for some reason, when I hear meek, I don't I don't get a good feeling behind meek. I don't know why. But it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't, something in my body just freaks out when she says like, we're meek. Um, that's just, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a powerful enough word for her collective. But dang that ain't my business that's like latest <laughs> but y'all should still watch go go watch queen cup because i love queen cup i love her i love her um oh and then i also wanted to talk about <sighs> let's talk about this energy of the the seasons this not the season the zodiac signs because capricorn season to me is now the season of karma so it's that number eight when i think of a capricorn i think of the number eight when i think of a capricorn i think of a number eight <laughs> just like when i think of a leo i think of a number eight because they're lucky they're lucky because i feel like leo and capricorns are on the more spectrum of like karmic but i don't mm, I have to think about that because <laughs> that's still a thought but what i have written down here is capricorn season karma and then that's tied to the number eight and which is the opposite of capricorn season is cancer so the full moon is in cancer and when i tell y'all the full moon the full moon is actually getting you to accept because i told y'all last full moons it's not about releasing a lot of y'all have it mixed up with releasing because you feel like releasing is letting go and once you feel like releasing is letting go that's one of the reasons why you resist releasing because you're resisting a part of yourself and you're not accepting your full part of yourself you're not accepting the fact of what you did to get here and what they did to get here and how this actually all started for you so when i think about like releasing i was having a negative spin on it and i hope this helps you because a lot of us have negative spin on releasing and it's not about releasing during this full moon it's about accepting everything in a full moon so when the new moon comes around all your new ideas and this new continuation of what you had in the past but it got further it got deep it it, it, it got more complex for you to actually understand and have a better structure and a better system and a better defense system for not you but other people around you as well and so it is this season now where these elements and in, in these signs like back in virgo season <laughs> because it's how can i explain it in a way that makes makes sense make makes sense makes sense makes sense makes sense <sighs> well i can't really explain it in a way that makes sense but i can just trail off into like this energy of virgo i'm feeling these in i'm feeling these signs how about i say it like this i'm feeling the energy of capricorn virgo scorpio cancer aries sag and then leo i'm feeling this energy of how can i say it 
it's like being confident and then once you're not confident in something you go back into because this is what i feel like a leo is really good at i feel like a leo is really good at having confidence i feel like a leo is really good at having confidence but the one of the reasons that they're so confident is because they also have a duality duality of insecurity so they go into their insecurities a lot so they need a lot of validation that's why a lot of the times leo will ask you for help and that's why a lot of the times when you have leo people you just have to affirm them because everything they're doing is right everything they're doing is good they just need some affirmations <laughs> they just need some validation that's why i think a lot of leo women need validation within this life <laughs> but i love it i love it you know and a lot of the times that validation needs to come from themselves rather than other people and so leos are very conceited because they talk to themselves very much and i feel like it's this leo energy over the collective of being more confident and when it's not more confidence you need to go within that duality that negative side of it that shadow side not the negative but the shadow side of it the shadow aspect of saying like okay there's confidence and then there's insecurity which insecurity is not bad that's just something you have to perfect and that's something that you have to uh learn to accept <laughs> insecurity is like it's a lackness in acceptance somewhere that's when i think of an insecurity it's a lackness of acceptance somewhere y'all have to learn how to put positive spin positive spins behind your intuitions not intuitions your in intentions behind certain things and so i feel like this leo energy of confidence is coming around <laughs> but the leo energy is backed up by the fire energy the fire in energy which is impulsiveness the impulsiveness so your confidence is backed up by this fire this aries and sag energy which is which is backed up by this virgo energy which is structure which is backed up between this scorpio energy this tying everything together because you're being confident in your truth and when you're not confident in your truth then you're being impulsive so so now you need a sense of structure to be confident in your truth and go after what you know to be true to you. That's where the cancer comes in and brings compassion so you can know how to really make sure all of these systems are working together, if that makes sense. It's like what... <laughs> what, what 2022 has been doing for us and has been healing for us. Because I know from August all the way until January... I've been, whoo, I've been healing, I've been going through stuff, I've been really upgrading, ugh, excuse me, upgrading my system and upgrading the way that I live and upgrading the way that I see the world. Even my relationships, they've been upgrading, they've been more loving, they've been more compassion in them, they've been more seeing eye to eye in them, even my relationship with self, definitely. <laughs> And that's the energy we're going through. I think I said it right. If I didn't say it right, then it's like, because it's the truth coming in. But with that truth, you need confidence behind it. But then even with that truth, with that confidence, you need actual energy to be putting behind that truth in that confidence then you need structure behind that confidence but you need compassion to tie everything over so it knows that you're not trying to move too fast that you're not trying to be a perfectionist that you're not trying to be it's this compassion to tie, to tie everything together with love so that's why i'm saying it's this energy of your masculine and your feminine energy coming into one it's this energy of masculine and feminine coming together a feminine actually learning who she is what she is and what she actually does and the masculine actually learning how to adopt to a feminine but the feminine learning how to adopt to a masculine like since you healed that feminine part of yourself already it's like your feminine part of yourself no now needs to know how to communicate with the rest of ourselves <laughs> to get into tune and in union with one of the other with one another and a lot of us want union a lot of us want love so it's like us discovering what it takes to have true love that's that's what i'm basically trying to say it's us discovering what it takes to have true love it's us discovering the actions it takes to actually have true true love is actually discovering the conversations and the communication tactics you need to have true love but first to have true love you have to have it with yourself then somebody else will come in because i always told the divine you're gonna reflect anything i do for myself first so i said let me date myself first let me love myself first and then you can bring somebody in because the divine is going to reflect what you do for yourself. So once you love yourself first, then he will bring in what you want because he knows what you want, when you want and how you want. Once you focus on the right things, the right intentions behind your belief, your expectations, 
in your intention itself and coming from the root of it and a lot of the times we haven't changed the root of it we haven't got to the basis of who we are we haven't got to the root of what love means to us that's why i keep asking y'all what does love mean to you because love means to me evolving and even that is kind of broad i want to be more specific on that because i want to be very clear on what i want and that's one of the reasons he's taking us through this journey of learning the feminine while then learning the masculine while then learning the shadow it's like you want the truth so the truth is coming to you but are you listening and paying attention enough to actually understand the truth that you're putting out to yourself to get the life that you say you want um and then it's also these um it's seeing the polarities of life right now it's really seeing the divine because i'm getting the energy of three and i'm getting the energy of four the four is the structures of yourself because it's the physical the spiritual emotional and the mental the four is like the ooh, child the four is also this um it's not even just the belief system how can i say it? it's the expectation then the belief and then the intention and then it's the the, the 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 feeling behind it and then it's that <laughs> and it's like the polarity of these three energies the balance between these three energies is the, is the divine is you and then your reality and then it's like the divine is trying to show you how powerful you are by trying to show you how your relationship with the divine is based off you so this is why he's trying to get you to understand the free control of you. And this is why I wanted to tie into when I was talking about, oh, like I always ask the divine, like, I wonder if, <laughs> like, why do I need you? Why do I need you in my life? Why do I want to see you in my life? Why, why are you important to my life? Because a lot of people talk about God, but a lot, but I want to know the relationship with you from you. And it's like, he's not talking to you he's going to show you because one thing that i learned into life a person is going to tell you what they want but they're going to show you what they're going to do with that want <laughs> they're going to show you of how they live out that truth so they can tell you what they want but they're going to show you how they live out that truth <laughs> so anybody can say what they want but they're going to show you how they live out that truth and how they live out that truth is how they actually live with inside of themselves although what they said is this what they're living is what they are actually meaning to that truth that they just told you um, um, and then it, it's it's energetic dominance one but it's also karmic energy another you you need to understand what what does karmic energy mean to you what does karmic energy mean to you what does karmic energy mean to you? Because once you understand what karmic energy means to you, you'll probably go back to some of these relationships and be like, whoa, I did manifest that. And I did want that. And I did. And I was like that. Because I noticed the second partner that I was with, he was a manifestation of what I wanted when I did not know what love is, when I wasn't discovering what love is, when I was just living life in my shadow and no other parts of me. So when I attracted somebody that was like my shadow, I should have just passed that up because it wasn't the divine giving me the test. It was the divine giving me something that I've taken my mind off of. But now that I've taken my mind back on it, I understand that, oh, he was just a part of the shadow me that I asked for. I did ask for this, but this is when I didn't want nothing to do with myself. But now that I want something to do with myself, he is no longer what I need and he's no longer what I want. So now I have to move on into something that I want. Now I have to move on to a better feeling of what I want. But a lot of us get stuck in why. A lot of us get stuck in how. A lot of us get stuck in what's going on. Why am I here? Why is this? Is this what I deserve? And it's like, this is what you said you wanted. You have to acknowledge the fact that this was a part of what you want. Because as you're moving on and getting what you want, you're not going to acknowledge what you want. Because you haven't acknowledged how you even got to what you wanted, what you didn't want. So you can't acknowledge what you do want and keep furthering what you do want. <sighs> Dating myself to see what is enough so the love, so the line can bring me true love in 2023. And then I find it so ironic because 2023 is actually the year of the seven. So <laughs> I was like getting to know 
who you are because seven is the inner knowing is that's all I can say about seven when I think of seven I think of blue I think of clarity and I think of inner knowing and I think of that sense of 2023 is very much getting to know what you want getting to know who you are actually getting to know who you are and putting that into action putting that into place like oh this is the belief system I have so since this is my belief system this is what I'm gonna do and a lot of y'all are not sure within y'all lives so this is why a lot of y'all stuff that you want don't come through because you're not really sure on it and you don't understand why you're not sure on it because you're not checking your intention behind stuff you're not going into the root of things you're not understanding the trauma that certain like certain sayings hold because i know in the black community we have certain sayings but that's that's the saying that somebody that raised you said and not what you said and that's an intention and belief that somebody that raised you put into it but not the intention and belief that you have on it so now it's like the divine is showing you how you're lacking in your own belief systems to get what you expect into life Uh, 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 only one too deep, not to not go deep enough. Okay, I'm trying to face the truth. One, two, three. Plus, it's this one, two, three energy. If you keep seeing two, three, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, it's just steps. It's just this is this is why you keep seeing it because you're taking the steps by actively practicing on what you're preaching about. <laughs> But first, before you can understand what you're practicing on, what you're preaching about, you have to understand what you're even preaching about. You have to understand. It's like this toolbox. You have all these tools. Okay, you have all of these tools. But now you have to go on the lesson of understanding. No, you have to go on the journey of naming these tools. So now you're going on a journey. You named all the tools. Okay, now that you named all the tools, now you have to figure out what do all these tools do? <laughs> how can this tools help me build something so now i have to look up what each tool is for and then after i looked up what each tool is for okay now i understand what each tool is for now i have to go and see what am i trying to build with these tools like what what exactly am i trying to do with these tools like okay i got tools these tools are for this but what exactly am i trying to do this this is the journey this is the story it's like developing one by one because now that you got the tool books now that you got the toolbox, now you got to figure out what the toolbox, what's in the toolbox. Now that you figure out what's in the toolbox, you got to figure out what this toolbox is for. What's the use of it? Now that you figure out the use of it, how are you going to make use of it? So what, what, what exactly do you want to build? <laughs> Not how are you going to build it? What do you want to build? Then after you figure out what do you want to build, what do you want to build inside of it? Now that you figure out what you want to build inside of it, how do you want it to feel inside of there? Now that you figure out how you want it to feel inside of there, how do you want it to look inside inside of there it, it's just diving deeper into one topic and then diving actually deeper into it because as you ascend you're just going deeper into your own character development it's this emotional capacity that we're having it's deepening our emotional capacity It's being more intelligent with ourselves and our system this is how powerful you are <sighs> yeah <Y 'all>, i'm <laughs> I'm having to take breaks because this is a lot. I've been channeling all day. I promise you. And you're going to see this on my TikTok too. So you can check my TikTok first. And then you can come back up to here. Because a lot of this I have been channeling all day on TikTok. And this is just further in deepening of the conversation that I was going through. A deeper inner conversation that I was going through. High level conversations. <laughs> 19 keys definitely watching that um and then it's, it's this aspect of music too because you know now that i'm looking at it from because the collective be like well this is toxic and this music is toxic and this music isn't good and this music isn't that and instead of saying this music is toxic instead of saying this music is negative just be like i really appreciate the authenticity that somebody put into allowing their shadow to speak through their pain allowing themselves to speak through what they've been hurt through allowing themselves to speak through the energy of what they're going through without judgment it's like uh, even now i'm looking at music differently i'm looking at tv shows differently i'm starting to understand different parts of myself to see is this my shadow or is this just my masculine being masculine and now i have to learn like hey that's just who i am or i have to learn like hey like you can do that but you need to calm it down a little bit because it's, it's kind of 
it, it kind of gives me anxiety and it kind of just does something to my body where it's, it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> it's like us learning how to communicate with ourselves and communicate with our cells, C-E-L-L, -L, <laughs> to calm them down. Because when we get the communication down, then we can get the emotion down, then we can get the spirituality down, then we can get the physical to go. Because once you get the emotional, spiritual, and mental aspect of it down, the physical, you will just, it will just move. It will just move off of a habit that you have, but you have to be conscious of it. And this is where the feminine energy comes in, because I feel like that feminine energy is that conscious energy. That masculine energy is just the subconscious you. It's just that you just is going to do it, because that's the impulse, and that's what I feel like I need to do. <laughs> that's why I love masculine energy, because it's just a mover. Your subconscious doesn't question. Your subconscious just does. And that's how I feel like mas masculine energy is. And I feel like feminine energy is more conscious. Like, no, I can't do this because this conflicts with this and this conflicts with this and this conflicts with this. So if we got the feminine to actually explain to the masculine what it is, now it's changing its habits. Now it's changing its cells. Now it's changing its fl formula within its body. And it's understanding, oh, this is how it's supposed to be done. And once we continue to reaffirm that position and continue to reaffirm that truth the masculine is going to know oh this is the new habit i should be like this is what i need to know and anything now on that frequency of what the masculine has just now tuned into it will move out of its way and be like that's not for me or i wouldn't even put itself in that position because it knows itself now it knows the energy it wants now it knows the type of people it wants now it knows what to attract and what it needs to be magnetized on but yeah <laughs> um pick up these parts to handle this next journey and it's like an anime this to me it's like an anime <laughs> you know how anime they just kind of jump right into it like they go to another world and then they just jump right into it like with the skills that i've honed back in then um my own planet it's the skills that i took from this planet and i'm just further learning and it's a new adventure every day it's something new you have to learn every day or it's something you have to repeat but you have to deepen the repetition of what you did to perfect it and make it better so it's a practice And then it's this energy of understand the system because everything comes in threes to me. Everything comes in pairs or threes, <laughs> kind of. I don't know how to explain it yet, but I explain it differently. But it's this three energy, this balance energy. It's this slow, fast, still. Our fast, slow, still. Our still, slow, fast. It, it doesn't matter, but it's these three energies that we're working with. We got to know when to be slow. We got to know when to be fast, and we got to know when to be still. And when I say still, Still, I mean in the moment of you. And when I say slow, I mean slowing down, being calm, and being more conscious. And when I say fast, just subconsciously knowing what to do because you have slowly mastered that position. You have slowly mastered who you are by being in stillness, by actually doing stuff that you love without understanding that you're doing stuff with your love, but you know that you're doing stuff that you love. If that makes sense. Um, time to face the truth. <sighs> Dating myself. It wasn't a test. Um, understand. And then it's this past energy. Like, y'all gotta understand. Like, when you feel past energy, the past energy is not coming back to you because they want you. A lot of the times, past energies are coming back to you so you can accept something within yourself. It, it's this energy of actually understanding that if you're thinking about the past, the past is there so you can accept something within yourself. You can accept that trauma that you still have not accepted. Because when you think back about them, what moment in time makes you sit there and just regret because when that regret energy comes up, when that energy of embarrassment comes up, why are you embarrassed? Why are you in regret? Why haven't you just pushed past that thought and went through it and been like, oh yeah, <laughs> I did do that. I learned that. Girl, that was wild. That was a, a crazy experience. Like you should look back and laugh. But if it's not a laughing matter, you need to sit there and understand that. So a lot of the times it's not coming back because you want them back or because they want you back. It's coming back so you can accept something in that time and build upon that acceptance into something new and better enlightening and loving for you you were weak you were fake you were messy you you were everything in the book but a child of god okay <laughs> so now that you know that 
be something different establish not establish it but make it to where i was weak but within my weakness i found strength i was fake but i needed to know what fake energy was so i can be real and raw and honest with myself and with you as well like we just have to be honest here like be honest be honest it being weak was not <laughs> and that's another thing you have to fix what weakness is for you you have to fix what strength means to you you have to fix these words and understand the feelings you have behind these intentions because a lot of the things that you're saying they're tied to a trauma from your past so this root work right here is what we're working on this is the energy of 2023 it's working on the root work it's working on the root it's understanding the root getting anything that doesn't fit with your root and taking it out <laughs> But, okay, let me go because I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again and I feel like it's nothing new that I can say. But I do hope that you're doing good. I do hope you're doing well. Just know um, my sessions right now are 25% off. Um, yeah, 25% off. So my 30-minute session should be 28 dollars 75 Don't quote me. But my hour session should be 38 Um, What is it? 38 77 dollars at this moment so definitely 25% off and it's 25% off until January the 8th so hopefully you get this before <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't been promoting it as much as I should have been promoting it but it's okay you come you come you don't you don't um and what else again I have the venom validate I have the learning to let go I have the self acceptance self reflection I have what else do i have self-love i have a lot of these courses that you definitely do need to come on to and you definitely do need to start doing <laughs> but yes remember i love you just as much as i love myself and i love myself most importantly so <laughs> let my love shine through you and let you create something beautiful and wonderful and i have faith in you just as much as i have faith in myself and i have faith in myself heavily so i have faith in you come on you got this. I got this. Like, share, and subscribe. And I want to say thank you for following me. Thank you for watching my video. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Because it's more people in this world who need to be like you. Who needs to own up to themselves. And I'm thankful that you own up to yourself. And I'm thankful that you, you, you love you. And you're getting the chance to understand you better. Because I promise you, this is what you are saying to you. Appreciate that. <laughs>